Hi, there's George Guy Clocks. Um, I'm going to redo this video again. Um, I did it before in uh, high definition. And um, I looked at it. I don't see that many people viewing it. So I'm going to try to redo this again. Because I know, I know how it is. You try to download HD videos. Sometimes people can't download them that good on their computer so I'm gonna try to redo this kind of quickie here. Um, what I got here is two Glock 30s. One's a SF and one's a regular Glock 30. Um, you can call it a slim frame, small frame, who cares what you call it. There's a lot of controversy on that. I don't so uh, I'm going to try to show you the difference in them. Um, this is unloaded for all the safety sallies out there. Unload it. Now, I do keep this loaded. That is a full, uh, full magazine, but I do not keep the chamber loaded. The chamber is not loaded. So any way that can go load it, if I cock that back and the boy goes in it. So I don't I ain't gonna do that. Um difference in these, what do you mean by the slim frame, small frame, whoever you want to call it? You can't really tell, but if you tell the gun on the right, the whole the whole above the magazine is a little thinner. Than the left side, it's a little bit smaller frame. I, if you look, if you compare two of them together, from one to the other, you can see it a little bit. But the the big difference is when you hold the gun. I, I, this is a full, the full frame Glock 30. When you hold the gun from that one to this one, it's a big difference. That little bit of difference in that in the grip, it's a big difference when you hold it. You can't you can't imagine how big with different bigger with difference it is, but it is. I gotta fix my mat. Yeah, they say these blue mats makes the gun look more stand out more. So um, besides that the newer Glock 30s has the little rail where you put a laser or light on it, which I ain't, I ain't going to worry about it because when you're carrying a gun, every little bit of weight helps, less weight, and this seems like it's more stuff to add. I don't, I don't, I don't need that shit. Um, but uh, it did, this wheel does hold 10 rounds. Just like the regular 30 does. And they will take the Glock 21, their older brother, magazine up in them. So it does do that. Um, I think the, the slide's got a different finish on them too, on the newer ones than the older ones. I can tell, I can feel the difference in the slides. Um, if you're wondering how I got that marker in there, you take a white crawler crayon and just fill it in the grooves and just wipe the excess off of it. It looks pretty cool. It don't last forever, but it looks pretty cool. Um, this does got night sights on it. On that clock third, the regular third. This one's got the regular sights on it. Um, if you're going to buy a Glock 30, I mean, unless you get a killer deal on a regular Glock 30, a killer deal on it, I say go for it. But if you're going to buy a Glock 30, if you're in the market for one, um, you might as well get the SF. It does feel a little bit more comfortable in your hands. And um, and these these range, I guess, new from five to six hundred dollars. Depends where you live at. I bought this used. I think I paid uh, four hundred for it. Used. I think I got like three magazines with it and stuff. Um. You can't go wrong. Um, they're both nice guns to shoot. Um, 
this is mostly what I carry right here is the is the 45 anyway um, when you like shooting a 45 especially in the Glock 30s um, the recoil ain't bad it's more like a pushback like a pushback than a then a 40, 40's got a little bit more of a snap to it, kicks up a little bit, but the 45 kicks back a little bit to it. Um, besides that, you can't go wrong. Now, the next gun I like to get is going to be the Glock 30, 36, I mean, Glock 36. It's a little bit thinner, it holds seven rounds. In my opinion, and that is, I mean, seven rounds is plenty. If you, if you get in a firefight, if you, if you, I mean, these are Hornady's 230 hollow points, and um, it only takes, you hit one time a 45, I don't care if it's that or a full metal J, you're going down. So, I mean, seven's plenty, plus if you carry an extra magazine, that's, that's plenty of ammo. If you need more than that, and you, and you, there's something wrong. But they both par carry, they both carry real good. I mean, this one's a little thicker to shoot. But I think the key thing, just like Pete said from the Armor Channel, just got you got to have a good holster and a good belt. And I, I've got a smart carry. That's that's all right. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get a cross breed carry. I've been looking for a used one. But um. If I come across one or not, who knows. But I just wanted to redo this video again and give you guys another look at it. I mean, you can't really tell, but when you feel in your hand, it is a big difference in it. From a, from a small frame, slim frame, whatever you want to call it, from a regular size frame. If you compare the two together, it, you can tell the big difference in them. Um, I, bought this, I bought this one here first. Then this I came across this one at the at uh, my gun shop I go to all the time. They had a used one and had a good price one. So I said, "What the hell?" I was gonna get a 10 millimeter, which is the Glock 29, and um, I hear a lot of stories on that. Like it's got a lot of recoil to it, and <coughs> I mean the guns is I mean you kill bears with that gun. I mean, but I mostly get my ammo from Walmart and stuff, and uh, I never see no 10 millimeters in there, so I stuck with the 45. I mean, it's been over, been around since over 100 years, so I've been doing a job so far. But these 45 is a nice gun, and uh, when I want to know election time is coming up, and uh. I don't know, I like Ron Paul. I like the way. He, I like the way uh, seeing one of the debates. I like his debate. I like his thinking. I mean, he he's he, he he's really an independent, but he's just running as a Republican. But people, the Constitution's getting ripped to shred it up, and uh, you, you tell the media's bias because they, he don't they don't announce him at all when they're very rarely they do. ABC, NBC, and all them guys, they're, they're to totally democratical. You'll never hear nothing about Republican stuff on there, Harley, unless it's negative stuff. But even Fox News don't really put uh, Ron Paul stuff on there that much because he's, he's more like an independent, but he's running as a Republican. But that's, that's who I'm going to vote for. Um, he's, he's more about the Constitution than any of them up, up there. And uh, I'm going to do a shout out to Gun Nut 1980. Check out some of his videos. He's real good. And uh, Army Channel, Pete, always watch you. You're funny as hell. You always got good videos. And I'll see you.